let's continue playing, and hopefully business is about going to pick up soon. Because this is the third straight video of backstory. Okay, where were we? Uh, Robert Hammond got his client found innocent, so why does the client have a grudge against him? He won the innocent verdict for himself. He was a free man, but he was ruined. Why? You will understand soon enough. Wait. Once again, Grossberg's not telling us. This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Yes, this is what I was waiting for. Whose handwriting was this? Yes. Yes. Tell me. Tell me. Wait. I have to tell you? Well, my guess is the guy I hate the most out of all of this, which is... Von Karma. Because he's evil, I tell you. Evil. I'm right. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. It's Von Karma's handwriting. I think my wish has just come true. Business has just picked up. Manfred von Karma has written the letter. Laying out the murder plans. For any yogi to kill. Now let's ask Grossberg about it. If it was truly von Karma who wrote this letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Edgeworth guilty. How could Von Karma know about Edgeworth's past like that? Even Edgeworth thought it was just a nightmare. That I do not know. Yet I do know, yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? Because Von Karma met Edgeworth in court. Von Karma won. But. About Gregory versus Manfred. Von Karma got the guilty verdict. But Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence. And the accusation stood. So he got a penalty. He went to the penalty box. So this was a shock for Von Karma, Mr. Perfectionist. He took a vacation for several months after that. This is, this is another important fact. File that away. It was the first and last vacation he's taking in all 40 years of prosecuting. No, Maya, he, does, he doesn't take vacations. That was the only time he took a vacation. Quite strange. Huh. Von Karma's gonna bring up DL6. What if Edgeworth pleads guilty to DL6? Why we won't let him? Even accidental murder is murder, you know. Yeah. We believe Edgeworth innocent. He'd never kill someone. Even though Edgeworth believes he's guilty, we believe he's innocent because we're a phoenix, right? We're right. And I'm rambling. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. Check again? The police files might hold something of interest. Thank you, Mr. Grossberg. In fact, the chances of finding something are slim. Huh. Huh. Speaking of police materials... Hmm. Was the letter updated? No. So 
it won't do anything for sure to Edgeworth again. The point I'm driving at here is if he had proof that it was Von Karma, then it would have updated it in the court record, which means I could show it to Edgeworth and get a different reaction. Of course Gumshoe's not here, he's looking for Gilgi. Hey, cop. He's Gumshoe's staying out late waiting for Yogi. We're Gumshoe's pals. Von Karma's in their records room already. Huh. Interesting. But first things first, let's examine the chief, see what he's looking at this time. That's not possible. Oh. The world ended yesterday. Off to, off to the records room. Would you look at that? It's an open drawer. Let's have a look at this open drawer. Hmm. Someone must have been looking, looking in it recently. The label says unsolved cases. Evidence. Huh. What case do we know that's unsolved? DL6. But wait. The files are gone. And. Uh, oh my god, it's Von Karma. Ooh. What? How do you know my name? <laughs> wow. He doesn't he doesn't remember us. Outside of court. They like bugs to me and needless things to be crushed. Wow. You're ugly. A romanticist who could never shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second mate. Huh. about tomorrow's trial. Oh, really? Indeed. And certainly you must understand. You know what Edgeworth could tell the court tomorrow. We do, we do now. Let's show him this letter that he supposedly wrote. Nothing bad could happen. Ha! Huh. Nothing bad could happen threatening him. Yanni Yogi. How many years how many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? Phoenix, I thought you would have learned your lesson in case two when you got arrested. Oh, oh. I told him to burn it after reading it. He just admitted it. He wrote the letter to me, Yanni Yogi. And Yanni Yogi is the caretaker. And he's going to take it. Way to go. It's a taser. Why do you even bother, do bother doing these things, Nick? Why 
why do you even bother? People don't die from it, usually. Give me the letter or get tased. Maya? Ah! No! No! Oh, God! Oh, God! Wow. He got us. Alright. Are we dead? We'll find out next part.